Hello everyone, this is just a quick video to show you how to boost uh, frame rate in Starfield. It's rather badly optimized game to begin with, like, yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna go into the details, um, there's been complaints about it that it's badly optimized, and it really is, but there are a couple of tricks, uh, actually just one. Well, first of all, go through your graphic settings. Like, I will never even play a game without going through the graphics settings. But the problem in here is also the borderless mode. You can't put it on an exclusive full screen, which is complete bullshit. So I have to run it in 4K, because my desktop is 4K. And if I lower the resolution of desktop, then it's just gonna ruin all my programs and all my desktop icons. That's just unacceptable. I'm not gonna ruin my entire computer just so I can change the resolution, that's just stupid. But anyway, the dynamic resolution, this can help, so uh, you should keep it on, but this here is the magic maker. And by default you can only go it uh, down to 50%, but I'll show you how to get it even lower. And these settings, they don't actually change much, uh, apart from shadows. And they're also glitched, and I will show another video on how to uh, fix that. But uh, first of all, turn shadows on low, that's like the main thing in every game, and also contact shadows. And then you can just mess around with other stuff, you know, like grass quality. I don't think it changes much, I can try. I mean, is this even grass, or what is it? So right now I have 51 frames per second, somewhere between 49 and 51, so let's say 50, okay? So let's try to change some of those settings in here. Let's change, uh, actually I did change grass to ultra, but let's change it to low. I don't even know if that's grass. Uh, 52 frames per second, so something changed? No, it's 51 again. 52. I, I, I don't even know if it's grass or not, or whatever it is. There's not much to change at all, I mean, there's just lighting, uh, reflections, these you can put low, that doesn't really change anything, you know. I mean, yeah, it does change, but I mean, it doesn't, you know, matter much, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this option I will show you in a second, you have to turn this on, the upscaling, on FSR 2. This is absolutely amazing feature, so make sure you have it on. Uh, sharpening, put it on zero, because this can really mess with you. Let's put it on 50 and let's see what happens. Uh, actually, it didn't change anything. It's still 50 frames per second, so <coughs> you might want to keep it in there. Uh, so yeah, anyway, these options, they don't do too much, but uh, let me just show you the um, bad side of the um, downscaling, or well, upscaling. Uh, let's look at the lettering on that. See, it's like blurred out in there because it lowers the resolution, and if I get close and stand for a second, see, now it's uh, really visible. See, if I stand up, then it already gets blurry and so... But anyway, you can't change this within the game. So within the game, uh, all these settings you can change is just uh, put this on, the FSR 2, and then lower... Well, don't change this at all, just leave it as it is. And then we just exit the game and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so, once out of the game, go into this location in here. I believe this is same for uh, everyone. Maybe not, I'm not sure if it's available on like some epic games and Steam and stuff like this, but uh, if not, just search for this file, Starfield uh, Prefs. And then we open it with Notepad++. And here you can change additional settings in here. And one of them is what I showed you, this kind of thing in here, the render resolution. So uh, 0 uh, 0.5 is 50%, but I put it on 30% because that uh, significantly reduces the render resolution. So it's only 30% of uh, 4K. And if I'm correct, that's a little bit lower than even 720p. But the good thing about this game is that it doesn't uh, apply the render resolution for text and stuff like this. So your menus and everything is still crystal clear. It only changes the textures. Which isn't too bad, it, it's a little bit blurry, but it's better than having like 20 frames per second, you know, so... Yeah, lower this one, we can uh, up it a little bit, but uh, if you're having issues, then just play around with this one. And just test it out, obviously if you put it to like 0 0.1, then you're gonna have really pixelated stuff, but uh, you might actually get really good frame rates, so... 
give it a shot, mess around with it, lower it uh, below 50% and it shouldn't be too bad.